guys, it's Fishing Fun here. Today, well, I'm not out fishing, that's the start. I'm sure you notice that. It's because I'm going to be doing a review on my top water lures and poppers in particular. Now, these are a very, very good way to fish, they're very fun. Do require a bit of energy, but that's the joy of fishing. Um, as you know, I've caught heaps and heaps and heaps of fish on these, all the way from salmon to little baby yellowfin whiting so I've got here with me today um, I've got a variety of lures starting out with the um, Halco Rooster Popper 135 in the FIFO pattern now this one's very good this is actually pretty new I've bought it just yesterday. So this so one's brand new. Haven't got a fish on it yet, but I'm sure I will because I've had plenty of success with this size before. So this is for your big salmon when the salmon come down this route, this part of um, the coast. Uh, bigger tailor, um, Mulloway sometimes take them. Uh, and lots of your predatory reef fish. You go up north you get GTs and Mangrove of Jack and Barra, these are all very good for it. So we've got that one in that colour. Um, we've got same model, same same brand, same size, but in a pink fluoro colour. Now this is the one you've been familiar with. I've caught salmon on it. I've got two salmon on this one in particular. Taylor, big Taylor. Um, uh, yeah, so this one's very, very good for the, your bigger fish. As I mentioned, 135 mil long, 49 grams. And this would have changed out for single hook, Caesar 4 So good for your um, salmon. Much better on fish as well. And then we've got, if we go down a bit, we've got the 105, 105 mil, 30 gram, Halco Pop. Poppers, uh, rooster popper. Now you may notice that's pretty much all I use. Yes, Halco are an amazing brand. Check them out. I'm not sponsored by them, but yeah, they just make great lures and caught, have plenty of success with them. Um, so yeah, I've got three of this size in different colours. This one's the Benito pattern. This is the green fluoro pattern, and this is the redhead pattern. Um, these are all the same size. Each one's caught me a lot of fish. Very good, uh, just depending on the weather, which one you use. Whether you use the Bonito or any of these. Um, then we have the next one down, a Rooster Popper 80. This is 80 mil, and I can't remember how many grams this is, but it's probably, it is, 16 grams. So this one has 16 grams. Um, this is your small one for your smaller tailor, smaller salmon, even some big herring will take these, believe it or not. So we've got that. And then the baby baby one we've got, a wrist popper 60 in the hot blooded pattern. Now this one is the smallest one I have so far. It's a as I mentioned, 60, 60 mil, 7 gram. So nice and light, perfect for yellowfin whiting, um, small herring, baby, baby salmon and tailor. And yeah, so these are my lures that I have been using, poppers especially. These are the poppers I've been using. And now if you're new to fishing, well, we all started somewhere. In, if you don't know what poppers are, so basically, uh, a lure, a hard body lure, made of normally made of timber or plastic, is it's plastic, but very hard. Um, that have a cup face on the front, as you can see. There's a cup face, which, as you drag it across the surface of the water, it grabs water and spits it out in front of it, so it looks like a bigger predator chasing a whole heap of small bait fish which the even bigger predators love and they will absolutely slam these to even 
as I've mentioned, from little baby whiting all the way up to big salmon, even Samson fish if they're on the surface, working the surface, tuna, everything will eat these. So as you can see the size difference, they're so versatile and they're awesome fun. So yeah, give them a try. So yeah, good luck. Um, white tight lines and I'll see you all next time.